For the past two weeks, I've been on one of the most incredible mountain bike adventures of my life. An adventure so epic that if I didn't have footage of it, I don't think you'd believe me. Alpaca ahead of us, sick. Oh. Holy shit! In case you didn't know, I've been in Peru on a guided mountain bike trip with a company called Wandering Wheels, during which we rode some of the absolutely most incredible single track in the most unbelievably beautiful locations and at some of the highest elevations I've ever ridden. As if riding yeah. wasn't enough, you better believe we spent our non-riding time sampling the rich local culture, cuisine, and history of Cusco, Peru in the surrounding Sacred Valley area. In today's video and over the next weeks, I am so stoked to begin sharing this adventure with you all. So without further ado, let it begin. And begin it did. A little sooner than I had hoped, if I'm being honest. Well, this is one way to start out the adventure. <laughs> My flight to Peru was out of Florida, and as I was driving down, poor Dora here, well, she didn't make it leaving me stranded two hours away from the airport with my flight leaving the next day. Luckily, AAA and my mom were there to rescue me, and I made it to my flight just fine. At the airport, I met up with my friends Joe and Maya, who were joining me on this epic adventure. What up, mother lickers? Y'all ready to ride some bikes in Peru? Joe's cutting things very close here. I'll let you guess the max weight. <laughs> It's 70. All right, first leg of the journey, done. Made it to Atlanta, now we get on our overnight flight to Peru. As much as I'd like to say I drove down strictly so I could travel with my friends, the truth is is that Joe, in the biggest bro move ever, hooked me up with a spectacular deal on a first class seat for our transcontinental journey, which, though I am super grateful for, I have now realized he has also kind of spoiled me for the rest of my traveling life. Thanks for that, Joe. After catching a small amount of much needed Z's, we all woke up to a spectacular view and a welcome sight of things to come. Yep, the mountains of Peru are big and we were getting excited. We have made it to Peru. Not gonna lie, I could use a nap. None of us slept, but we think all of our bikes are here. Well, we've got three bikes and all our luggage, which is amazing. So things are off to a good start. A little tired, but we'll figure that out. We first arrived in Lima, and then we caught a quick hour-long connecting flight over to Cusco, our base of this trip, where our shuttle was waiting along with our guides for the trip, Matt and Quinti. After our first Peruvian meal at a restaurant called Jack's, which was delicious, I might add, with some of the freshest mango juice I've had in my entire life. We took some time to settle into our hotel, unpack, put bikes together, and even took a general stroll around town to get the lay of the land. Cusco is a much bigger city than I realized, with around 500,000 residents in the city proper. It's quite pretty too, nestled in a bowl, surrounded by towering mountains on all sides. The fact that Cusco itself lay over 11,000 feet, and with multiple days of our trip planned to be riding above 14,000 feet, it was imperative that we took it easy on our first day in town and let our bodies begin to adjust to the elevation. After all, most of us on the trip were coming from near or at sea level. After one more not so great night's rest, however, it was finally time to get our first day of riding underway. I will never ever forget buying my first used bike online. It was a red specialized stump trumper and I was so freaking excited because it was my first full suspension bike. Except when I got it, the fork was completely blown out. Something that had not been disclosed to me and ended up costing me about another 25% on top of what I had already paid for this bike. Ugh. That was a pretty rough lesson for me to learn as a broke college student and a very good reason why using the sponsor of today's video, The Pro's Closet, to buy and sell bikes online makes so much sense. The Pro's Closet is an online retailer of bikes, frames, components, wheels, and apparel, but their real specialty is in buying and selling certified pre-owned bikes. Unlike my used bike that I bought online, The Pro's Closet's certified pre-owned bikes go through a meticulous 141 point inspection and are checked through by a minimum of eight different mechanics, making sure that your bike never shows up with a blown out fork like mine. 
If something were to be wrong with the bike, or if it's just not up to your expectations, the Pro's Closet still has you covered with a 100% 30-day money-back guarantee. Just like buying, selling your used bikes and gear to the Pro's Closet for cash is super easy too, and a great way to fund your next purchase while also clearing out the garage. The process is simple, just requiring some pictures and information on your item, and if your item is accepted, an offer will be made within two business days that you can then receive in the Pro's Closet credit or cash via PayPal. Whether you're buying a certified pre-owned bike or selling your used gear, the Pro's Closet has your back and makes things easier and more reliable than ever before. Right now, the Pro's Closet is offering you guys a special discount of $40 off any purchase of $200 or more on their site using my code SINGLETRACK40 at checkout. Click my link in the description below to head on over and take a look at what they've got. And if you find something you like, don't forget to use my code SINGLETRACK40 at checkout to get your discount. How did you sleep? I did not sleep great, but I did sleep. Let's do it. This is day one, ride one of the Wandering Wheels Peru Adventure. I am so excited right now. All right, the new rig has officially made it to Cusco, Peru. We got a whole bunch of awesome bikes ready to be ridden today. Oh yeah. Is this the mountain biking adventure? All right, we All got right, the whole more. crew together on our first shuttle up of the trip. This is a pretty epic moment. Let's introduce everybody. We got Maya Papaya. We got Joe, AKA Mr. Tonka. We got Steve, AKA Senor Chasing Epic. We got Tom. <laughs> and then we got our fearless leader Hola. up here, Matt, and our local guide, Pinti. And we're gonna have a awesome time next 10 days is full on yeah. let's go all right oh my gosh i'm so excited right now first lap let's go so we're all ready this is kind of just a uh, hot lap like a warm-up not still not even a small downhill but we're all ready above 12,000 feet even at this spot so we've been told to take it easy because we got to climb right here not gonna be a lot of climbing on this trip but definitely need to ease our lungs into this oh yeah the air is thin <laughs> look at these amazing mountains we're gonna be riding up on some of these giant peaks later. Let's ride our bikes! Yeah. Vamos! Yeah! Let's go! A little drop right off the gate. Yeah! So today we're riding some local town stuff and these are gonna be a little bit more, like some of them are kind of purpose-built mountain bike trails by the locals here in Cusco before we get to like the really high alpine. Woo! I'll tell you what, it's gonna be hard for me to talk. This is Matt in front of me, the owner of Wandering Wheels, the company putting on this awesome trip. Huh. And uh, he is a Canadian, hails from Revelstoke. Yeah, bud. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're definitely, you're a shredder, I can tell. Oh, I'm just cruising. You're gonna be fun to fun to follow. It's not a big gap or anything, but it like you don't want to case that thing. So if you're following me, I am gonna hit it. Like if you're following me and you see my speed and stuff and you're good, feel free to hit it. If not, maybe don't take any chances on the first <laughs> All right, let the fun begin. Or continue. <laughs> so we got some jumps on this trail. Pretty excited about it. Yo! <laughs> nice rocky section. Oh, bike is feeling good. Gap over. We got dogs. <laughs> They're coming for you, buddy. <laughs> So if you guys haven't watched 
any of BKXC's videos, Brian's vids from this trip, there are a lot of dogs in the area. Kianti was telling us that at one point in Cusco's history, there was a ratio of like four dogs to every person. Ha! I believe it. Everyone breathing pretty heavy here at our breaks. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear everyone. <laughs> the next spot that I stop is going to be beside Except Steve. a good sized calf jump. Ooh. So I don't recommend anybody hit it, hits it blind. I'm not going to hit it at all. Kinty will tow people into it if they want to hit it, but let's look at it. <laughs> Sweet. Kinty, I'm just going to follow you in your pace, okay? Yes, yeah. Dude, it's so smooth. So smooth. Yo, good toe. Let's go, bro. Uh. 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 Yeah. Vamos. Vamos. Yeah, bud. Let's go. Woo -hoo! Yeah. This is sick. All right, this is rad. These local Kuskins. Some solid building happening here. Oh, yeah, just some real exposure all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. In the shuttles right here. Let's go. This is sick. Yeah, guys. That's the way to start a trip right there. And look at this, how amazing is this? Our shuttle's just right here, immediately loading and going for another. All week long, buddy. Oh my gosh. All right, lap one in the books and that was an awesome start. I'm stoked because we're gonna be riding that trail multiple times because it takes us right down to our hotel. Now we're gonna go ride another trail that drops down the other side of the mountain for the people that live on the other side of the, uh, the ridge in town. Just all local Cusco stuff today. What is this again, dude? It's a it? coca candy. A coca candy, and what's the purpose of it? From Bolivia. This is a Bolivian one. Yeah. What's the purpose of it? I'm no scientist, I can't explain exactly, but they believe that the properties in the coca plants help to acclimatize and help to get used to high elevations. All right, lap number two, and this one's a little bit more chunky. Following Matt. Yeah, bud. Nice, I like that gap. Matt and uh, Keith are gonna be really good guides to follow, I think. Yeah, bud. We're just like out here in a farm. <laughs> and people have come through and just the locals dug trails. Man. Yeah, when we get going on the downhills, I... <sighs> Struggle to catch my breath still. Coming up, we got our first uh, urban section of riding today. <laughs> Hola. Dude, these views. Oh my gosh. I love being surrounded by mountains like this. It just feels like there's endless adventure all around me. So the trail we're on is called Jun Junkaipata. And that's the name of this town. It's the name of these mountains right there. Is this right? We got some jumps here. Nice, that's a fun section. All right, we're gonna get into the trees. It's gonna get techie. Yeah. Oh, it's so loose. I like being right on mats ass here so I can follow his lines. Oh God, this is super loose. Yeah, yeah buddy. Whoa, that was the best section yet. <laughs> Just so you know, I, I, I will follow you close, but like I'll never be dangerously close. I'm not worried. And don't ever worry about me. Like I will not, I will not. R right. Ram you catastrophically, I promise. You all right, bro? 
You okay? Fine into that. That was fun, right? I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm staying real tight on Matt so I can follow his line. <laughs> wow, look at that gap. Pretty good gap. Man, it looks really well built to be honest. I think we're casing it hard. Honestly. Stand I, up here. I disagree. I think you just come in and you turn and you let off and you just uh clear it like it's nothing because you're gonna launch perfectly into this wide open landing i think it's plenty of speed like like a couple more cranks than i did you yep. <laughs> nice thanks buddy Oh god, my lungs though. Hardest, hardest part about that is doing it when everybody's like, don't do it. Don't exactly, do it. I was gonna say that the hardest part is doing it when everyone's like, I don't know, bro. That's You're not going fast enough. Out. I'm like, I'm really confident in this. Hey, Joe, I'm gonna follow you, bro. Okay. You follow Kinty. Whoa, yeah, you don't wanna follow in those trenches. Good riding, Joe. I'll tell you what, guys, this terrain is super loose in spots. It makes it really challenging. Sometimes you'll like link up really well. And other times it's just crazy loose. See if I'll follow you. Right. Got Mr. Moke in here, Senor Chasing Epic. This man is a technical master when it comes to chunk. Oh, perfect timing to get behind you. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> Great riding, Steve. Whoa, that's a ledge. Dog, oh gosh, dog just came out of nowhere around the corner in front of Kinty. Oh my gosh. Hey, man. He just wants someone to play with him. Look, he's just playing fetch. <laughs> oh, buddy. All right, here we go. Our first Urban DH of the trip. Oh, cool. I've been looking forward to this. Yeah! Yes! Let's go, Maya! Oh my gosh, coming in hot, girl! Right. We got our first mechanical of the trip. Better now than when we went way up at 14,000 feet, I'd say. But Tom here got a massive nail in his tire. Riding through that industrial area. Oof. But we got everyone here. No one hurt. And we got plenty of tools and equipment to take care of it. This is part of big trips. This won't be the last mechanical of the trip. Yes, it will. <laughs> oh, now it gets sketchy. So we're not going to be in Cusco this whole trip. We're going to be here for three days and then we're heading into the Sacred Valley where we go do much bigger, higher rides, longer laps, still shuttling. But for this part, we're in town and we are not the only mountain bikers around, by the way, that like we have seen lots of people just cruising around on their mountain bikes. But what's great, what's really funny is a really common setup for local riders is they have hardtails with full on downhill forks on them. And, and that's kind of the popular, the popular setup just because of like access of parts. It's rare to see someone with a full downhill bike. Oh 
God, Joe. That was exhilarating. Thoughts, opinions, commentary on our first couple laps here in Peru. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty damn good. Pretty stoked on it? Pretty stoked on it. There's a lot of variation. The variation is really cool because you get steep techie downhill. There's some jumps thrown in, some fast sections. I like it. Hell yeah. Steve? Same. Same. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lap three and it's still morning. We're heading straight to lunch after this one. We're gonna do that same lap, but we're changing it up at the bottom section. I'm ready for some food. Apparently we're getting some good ceviche. You ready? Kinty's gonna lead us out here. He knows this trail really well. He knows there's some really good lines down there. So yeah, follow him. Make sure you're recording. All right, Let's give her, bud. Yeah, get it. Cool. This is fun. Big hip here. Yeah! Yeah, Kinty! Let's go, bro! Oh, this is cool. Whoa, massive exposure on the left. That was steep. Oh, this is so cool! <laughs> Dude, this is rad! That was really cool. <sighs> Should I catch all these guys coming down? That was very fun. Great riding, Kinty. Section yeah, it's so it. neat. So neat. Yeah, Kinty was just up and down on the yeah. sides. Yeah. It's like, yeah, on playing around with it. Wow, this is so sick, just descending into Cusco. Oh yeah! Go fast! Whoa, crazy steep! Out of nowhere! <laughs> nice. All right, I think it gets really steep here with a lot of ruts, they said. So, yeah, crazy steep. You can just like gap down it, it's so steep. Nice save, Joe. This is wicked. Yeah, lots of ruts. Yeah, Joe, good stuff, dude, good control. Cool, yeah. I love the sounds. Man, these are really neat trails. Woo! <laughs> Yo, bud. I smell brakes. Oh, big rut. Can't get out of it. Yeah, bros. And here we are just next to an ancient Inca site. How cool is this? <laughs> Let's check it out, we're at lunch. Oh my gosh, how sick is that? <sighs> oh yeah. We just finished up with lunch, had some awesome ceviche that we rode straight into. Now we've taken a shuttle around to a little bit longer of a shuttle. We went pretty far out of the way and came around to another side of Cusco. And we're going to ride a newer trail that's crazy steep. And it's wild to be this high up above Cusco and looking down. It's really gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, there is one thing about this trail. You guys, you guys can hear these guys out here cutting trails 
we're not positive that this trail hasn't been logged recently and that there won't be uh, trees down. So not only is it steep, but we might have some obstacles. <laughs> All right, ahead, this is dope. So there's some farming up here, quite a bit of it actually. Oh yeah, look at this. Wow, my gosh, it's so epic seeing them ahead of me on the ridge above Cusco. Dude! All right, I need to look where I'm going though. Oh gosh, eventually this gets super steep. This is so epic, oh my gosh! You good, Tom? I heard Tom go down behind me. You all right, buddy? <laughs> That's pretty steep. That's a lot of front brake action. How crazy is this? Cool is this, guys? I can't believe I'm here right now. All right, off of the GoPro so you guys can see, like, actually what the struggle is. The struggle is real. This part in particular is thick and you can't really see where your footing is going. I got your back, Kinty. Let's go, bro. Wow. Cool forest in here. They have a lot of eucalyptus trees in the area. So I was just talking to uh, Matt and he says that him and Kinti and some of, the, some of their buddies, a lot of them are the guys who have mapped out everything around here. He was showing me his, his uh, computer. <laughs> it, I thought it was trail force, but it's not. <laughs> and he's done a lot of the mapping himself from here to like two hours away, a couple, maybe three hours away, and the next valley's over. Wow, this is steep. And uh, that's so cool, just so much exploration. This is awesome. <laughs> Super loose, all of a sudden. <laughs> oh no, I, got, I took my foot off and I can't get it back on. <laughs> yeah, bro. Wow. Woo -hoo. I had to wang jangle that one. Wow, Kinty. Holy sh That exit is weird. Yeah, that exit was sketchy AF. Nice lines. Yeah, thanks bro. I'm yeah, just following Kinty. Oh man, look at those guys. This is the other thing that Matt was telling me. So like, as builders, you kind of have free reign here, but things change constantly. So you might build a trail and then you come back next season and there's just a road built over it or, a, or someone's now farming that land. It's pretty steep ahead. Oh gosh, super steep actually, holy shit. I'm giving him super tons of room. Guys, it's crazy steep. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's my new favorite saying. We are a few, but we are crazy. <laughs> Son los pocos, pero locos. Fast urban downhill, okay. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> yeah. Yo, good lines. <laughs> Dude, yeah, urban riding through a city is such an adventure. I love it. Hola, amigo. Bien. Muy bien. 
<laughs> All right, back up to the top. Said this is a short but sweet one. Lots of exposure on the right. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, bud. Garden time. Dang. Yeah, Matt's good in those tech sections. Really good. That was so fun. Yeah. That was a great section. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, Tom. Let's go, bud. These local trails are so sick. Whoa, steep. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Woo <laughs> That's a nice line. I like that one. Woo, that was so smooth. Oh, there it is. No road gap action. <laughs> All right, gonna give this road gap a go. You do this a lot? Yeah, I don't do that a lot, but I like to do something. But you're very confident in it. Very confident. Okay. Landing is good. Drop in! Yeah, let's go! <laughs> yeah, buddy! You sent it deep! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All right, that was super, super smooth. Felt amazing. And Joe and Maya went in on the fun. So we gonna do it again. I'm gonna tow them in. You good? Drop in! Let's go. <sighs> All right. It's now like 4.30, 5 o'clock. Where? We've been riding since, we've been, Okay. we headed out at nine for our first lap. So we've just been going all day. I'm tired. We're gonna get, get onto this lap. This is similar lap to the one that we did to start the day, but we're gonna end with a cool, another urban ride. Drop. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, good gap. Oh, that got chunky. Yeah, Kinsey. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Slow, slow, slow. Slow, 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 slow <laughs> oh, this is us? Oh yeah. my gosh. Oh. Oh. What? There's a little alpaca down there. Alpacas. Oh. Yo. Okay, this is cool. I see why you wanted to come here. Okay, great first day. So, so good. Holy cow, what a day. 
We ended the ride with a really awesome, just rolling straight up to this really cool little brewery. It had a couple bites to eat and a couple beers. They had a pack of down in the distance and like a really sick view. Really good vibes for post-ride beverage. And uh, now we're back at the hotel and getting cleaned up and we're gonna head out to a steakhouse, but I'm filming this now because I'm gonna be, I'm still so tired. I still haven't had a good night's sleep. I maybe slept like five hours last night. So I know the second I get dinner in me, I'm gonna be gone. So I am gonna say I'm gonna have alpaca, some alpaca for dinner tonight for the first time. So that is exciting. Um, but anyway, I hope that the excitement in the stoke of the riding is conveyed. This Wandering Wheels trip is off to an amazing start and I just cannot wait to see what we do these next. We have seven more days of riding. Day one, the stats are in. We did six laps and we did a, like maybe 150 feet of climbing total in the day. 8,000 feet of downhill. Matt and Keatsy keep saying that that is a baby day, that that's like the smallest day that we're gonna have the whole trip. So what is to come, it's gonna be pretty wild and we're only gonna do like cooler, bigger, bigger like mountain rides. So, so much to look forward to. So excited thus far. We have such a great tight little crew here. There's only five of us total, it's really rad. I think that's very non-normal, I think normally it's a little bit bigger, maybe like a, a full trip is 10, I believe. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you are super stoked for the next seven videos of riding in probably, there, I'm not gonna lie, if, there's, if the days are this big, I might have to split some up. Might be two, day, two videos one day, but I hope you are stoked nonetheless. If you're still watching, definitely subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with this Peru adventure. And uh, I will see you guys back here for the next one. Until then, you know what to do. Live free, ride hard, and get stoked. I'm so excited for the rest of this. I'll see you there.